Hello everyone, I would like to welcome you to Senior One Biology and this is lesson one. We are introducing biology to our students and I would like to encourage all of you to follow these good online lessons so that you learn at home. Also encouraging you to please continue staying at home until it is safer for us to go back to school. And I know very soon we shall be returning back to school. But for now, uh, let's proceed with our lesson and the subject is biology. We want to introduce what biology is. I remember in, when I was in primary school, we studied four subjects. There was mathematics, there was English, there was social studies, SST, and there was science. Is that what you also studied in your primary school? Most probably, yes. Those are the four subjects, four major subjects that we learn from primary school. And one of those ones is science. And I remember my teacher was telling me what science was. I don't know what your teacher told you. What is science? Yes, the teacher said probably that science was the study of living things and non-living things. Is that what he said? Is that what you learned? Most probably so. So if science is a study of living things and non-living things, yes, we are going to look at more about the two. So the subject we are studying today, uh, which is biology, is one of the science subjects. Is one of the science subjects. So if you learned science in your primary, primary school, it's going to be easier for you to connect or to continue from where you stopped. And you may, you may even find that some of the concepts we are going to look at here are going to be much simpler and some of them you already know. So when you look at living things and non-living things, what I'm wondering now is, at this time, are you able, are you still able to differentiate living things from non-living things. If you are given 10 objects and 5 of them are living and then the other 5 are non-living, are you able to sort out that this one is living, this one is living, this one is non-living? Yes? I want to challenge you to be able to be practical, to go to the field, to go to your compound, and sort out items and identify which one is living and which one is non-living. For example, we have those items there. I am seeing many of them. I am seeing the birds. I am seeing the bicycle. I am seeing the vehicles. I am seeing the cart, the sunflower, and many other things. Are you also able to see them well? Yes, if you, have, if you have seen those pictures, please identify for me any five living objects that you have seen there. Identify any five living objects. If you can identify more than five, then you are even a better student. And then identify five non-living objects from that picture. And then you inbox me your answers. Just uh, inbox me your answers and tell me this one, this one, and the other one are living, and then the other ones are non-living. So please do that. That is your assignment number one. Identify for me the five living objects from that picture, and then also the five non-living. I know you're going to do that. I am actually waiting for your responses. And then we have another picture there. You can still do the same. You can still do the same. Identify the living and put them in that cycle, on that circle. And then also identify the non-living and place them in that basket. You can draw your circle and basket and then write names of the living and non-living. Then take a picture of your drawing and then send it to me. What I want to know is whether you are able to identify the living 
items or living objects and then the non living that will be very great for you in case you are able to identify that would be very good so let's move to the definition of biology we have uh, introduced biology as one of the science subjects that we are going to be studying in our secondary school life and want to define what biology is because there are also other science subjects that the teacher will introduce to you but for now let's define what biology is probably you have heard about it before uh, so I want us to define together what is biology members biology is the branch of science that deals with the study of living organisms what is biology a branch of science that deals with the study of living organisms I remember you have already identified the living and non-living from the other pictures now the science of studying the living the details about the living things and so on about how they behave how they feed how they reproduce how they look like what they have in their bodies that is science of studying those things in detail grouping them into different groups and so on uh, that is what we call biology and you are very lucky to be studying biology so i want to welcome you once again to the science of life biology therefore is the science of what science of life it's the science of life i want to look at the branches of biology remember biology is a broad science so i want to look at the different branches of biology the first branch there that we are looking at is what we call zoology from the word zoo how many of you have ever visited the zoo zoo there is a term that comes from the word zoo called zoology and zoology in this case is the branch of biology that deals with the study of animals what did you go to see in the zoo yes probably you must have gone to see animals so zoology is a branch of biology that deals with the study of animals so i can you can see a number of them there i don't know which ones you know you can identify and then some birds some giraffe some lions elephants and so on those are animals and the study of those members there and many others is what we call zoology you can probably take interest in that and when you want to study them more you become a zoologist and in the future at least some of you can become zoologists and a zoologist is a scientist who specializes in studying animals your work is only to study about what animals you want to find out details about them and you can even advise governments you can even advise communities on better practices of how to interact with animals on how to protect them and so on so you can uh, take that privilege and become a zoologist yeah a zoologist like you can see that student there studying more details about that bird and later on she will tell us what to do with the birds and what she has found out okay so some of the popular zoologists we know in our country include professor ogenga latigo Maurice Ogenga Latigo is a professor of entomology or insect science for him he specialized in a, a, a branch of zoology again called zo, called uh, entomology the study of insects and he's a politician currently he was one time leader of opposition yeah he's a, a great man there another great lady zoologist is professor Mary Okwakol she's a she is a, a zoologist well-known zoologist and currently working with the uganda national examinations board uneb as a chairperson so the uneb chairperson is professor mary okwakol and she's a zoologist and many others you can also join that team in the future and become a zoologist um the second branch of biology is botany the second branch is called the botany 
I know you must have visited botanical gardens at one time. Or you have had uh, students going to the botanical gardens. We have the largest botanical gardens in Entebbe. And maybe in the future you can visit and see how they are. But what do they go to see there? They go to see different types of plants and different species of plants. So therefore, botany is a branch of biology that deals with the study of plants. Yes, a branch of biology that deals with the study of plants. You want to find out details about what plants are, how they grow, how they behave. You can even cross different plants. Today, botany has been used in agriculture. And you have seen new crops coming on board. Even those that are yielding bigger fruits, those that are resistant to weather. There are botanists who are working to improve the agricultural yield and also improve the resistance of plants to environmental conditions and pests. So there is a lot in that area that you can also learn. I want you to go and find out more about botany and maybe you can also become a botanist. So who is a botanist then? He's a scientist who specializes in the study of plants. So for you, a botanist, you are dealing with the plants. That is what you deal in. And you want to find out more about them. Like you can see those students there, those members, you can also join that noble team. So let's look at the third branch of biology. The first one we looked at was zoology. Then we have looked at botany. And now we want to look at the third one called physiology. So what is physiology? Yes. So together, physiology is a branch of biology that deals with the study of functions and processes of living organisms and all their parts. So if you are interested in finding out how different body organisms, I mean different body parts work, how cells work, you want to find out how the liver works, how the heart works, the reproductive system, the skeleton, the eyes, the ears, and so on, the muscles. Those people who do that kind of study are called physiologists or physicians. In fact, physiology is highly applied in the medical field. So most of the doctors, if not all of them, do some physiology. And physiology is highly employed. And those people are either called physiologists or physicians. So a physiologist is a scientist who deals with the study of body cells, systems, and functions. It's usually a medical field. So most of the doctors, like I told you before, or do physiology. So you can see those members there trying to handle a patient there in the, in the theater. Uh, those are medical students who have done a lot of physiology. So we have some of the physiologists who have known, or some of the physicians or great doctors who have seen in our country. One of them is Dr. Matthew Lukuya. There was a time when Ebola broke out in northern Uganda. He was a hero. He was one of those people who fought and fought against Ebola. And he's, he passed on, but he, his name is high above in the medical school. He's one of the renowned people. Another one is Dr. Ben Carson. He's a world-renowned heart surgeon. He's an American doctor, one of the best heart surgeons in the world. You must have heard about him. One time he contested for a Democratic presidential candidate. The other renowned scientists or physiologists or physicians, uh, we can see Dr. Can you identify those two pictures? One of them is called Mama Corona. And then the other one is the deputy mother Mama Corona. That is Dr. Jen Rutha Cheng, the Minister of Health on your left, and Dr. Diana Atwine, the Permanent Secretary Minister, Minister of Health. They have fought so hard against the current corona. No one up to date, no one has died of the disease. So those are some of the people who have done physiology. And uh, yes, I want to welcome you to this science of life. It feels lively to study biology, and I want you to be very much lively as well. 
But before we continue, I know we shall meet in the next lesson, but I want you to do for me my assignment. My assignment is, you are in your room at home. I want you to stand in your room and look around. Put on the light and look around. Identify for me five living things that you can see. Please search in your room and find out. Five living things that you are living with in your room, other than human beings. Other than you and your, your brother, your mother and father, identify other five living things around in your room. And then send me. If, if you can take pictures, send them to me. I want to see. And also identify five non-living things or items that you can see. Please do that. After doing that, move to your compound around your house. Identify five living things and also five non-living things. And then send me the pictures. I will be interested to see. Thank you so much. Meet you in lesson two.